Her vlogmas is almost over. <laughs> Welcome back to the vlog. We are still in Vlogmas. It is a Wednesday, so we have a few more days left in Vlogmas. If you are new here, my name is Gina Janine. I like to think of myself as your thick best friend on this channel. We do a lot of vlogging. We have discussions. We talk about relationships. There's a little bit of fashion, beauty, hair, a little bit of everything. So if you like what you see in today's video, I would love for you to become my bestie and hit that subscribe button hit the like button and also talk to your girl down below because I try to respond back to as many people as I can. Probably can't be everybody, but as many people as I can. Also follow me on my social medias, which is Instagram. I also have Twitter, but I really don't post on Twitter very often, but you wanna follow me on Twitter, you can. I have a TikTok, don't really post that often, but you can. So yeah, welcome to today's vlog. Um, I did not plan on vlogging today at all. I planned on doing a sit down talk through video, which I still do plan on doing later on today, possibly tomorrow, hopefully later on today. But anyway, I'm going to the mall. I need to do some last minute Christmas shopping. Um, I'm actually really late. My appointment was at one o'clock and you see it's now 2.40. Yeah, so I won't even get to the mall until about 3 15 3 30 honestly with parking who knows how long that's gonna take but anyways um let me show you guys my outfit i am wearing a zara jacket that i got on clearance it's the only time y'all really see me shopping at zara is during zara clearance um this is a cropped target t-shirt y'all know they have all those different color t-shirts for five dollars that's what this one is these are some leggings from you guessed it Diddy's discounts they kind of have the scrunch booty but because i'm so wide the booty really ain't scrunching like it's supposed to. But yeah, I love these leggings because they come long, 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 all the way down. Y'all know I'm, I'm a tall stallion. I'm a tall cup of water. Okay. I'm a Hennessy on the rocks. Just know that. Okay. We continue. And then I'm wearing my Dolce & Gabbana sneakers. Then, of course, my JBW watch. Y'all know I love JBW. And then this is my um, Cuban bracelet that I got from TJ Maxx. It looks real, don't it? Yes, yes, I know, I know. Fake the funk till you can get the real thing. And this is a Shein bracelet. It looks like a Ferragamo bracelet, so it's like a dupe. But I got from Shein for about $3. And then I just have some gold and silver rings on, earrings. And then I'm finally... Wearing my white Balenciaga bag. Y'all know I got this on sale for about, I think I saved about a good seven or $800. I got this from Saks Fifth Avenue on sale. Y'all check Saks Fifth Avenue website. They have a lot of designer stuff that goes on sale. There's another Balenciaga bag on there. I'm not gonna tell you guys which one that I kind of want and it's cheap, not cheap, it's reasonable. And it's about $700, $800 cheaper than retail. So y'all check out Saks, get y'all some designer for the low and then i'm also gonna be wearing my lv sunglasses uh so y'all know i'm the queen of mixing my highs and lows so uh, this is a high like i said this is our crop jacket got it on sale for about 15 dollars five dollar target t-shirt these leggings i believe were 4.99 and my sneakers cost a little bit of money glasses cost a little bit of money and then my bag cost money everything else we bargain shopping around here, baby. Okay? Even my makeup. I bargain shop with my makeup as well. Okay? All right. So, even my perfume. You new here, your girl likes getting her perfume for 50% off. And I love me some good dossier. But anyway, I'm about to um, use this little sample. This is the newest perfume that I bought, which is Chanel Chance. And I got a free sample. This perfume is called Juliet Has a Gun, Not a Perfume. So we are going to try this perfume out today. Hopefully it ain't stanky. I can't, can't smell nothing. Oh, that smells good. Ooh, that's a nice daytime fragrance. 
Okay, Juliet has a gun, not a perfume. Mmm. Spread a little bit more. Say the rest of that for tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, y'all check that out. Mmm. That's like light and fresh. Mmm. I wonder how much that costs. Wow. That smells really good. Okay. Um. Y'all, I spent time this morning going through my closet. This pile may not look huge, but it is a lot of stuff in this pile. This is all gonna be for Poshmark. Um, I have a day written on my calendar that says Poshmark day. No excuses, Gina, get your ass up. It literally says that on my calendar. So that is being gonna be added to my Poshmark as well. I just got a huge box of Fashion Nova stuff in. Y'all know it's like it, I purge my closet and then I buy. I purge my closet, then I buy. So anyway, and I actually have some returns to do today. Um, I gotta go to Dee Dee's to do a return and I don't I don't think I'm gonna shop. I think I'm just gonna return. And then I also have a return at Nordstrom in the Galleria. And I'm not gonna shop, I'm just gonna do my return. My shopping today is for other people, Gina, not you, okay? Listen, you give advice to people all the time, but seldom take your own. I just walked out in my living room. Y'all know we've been, I've been on this Febreze kick. You guys really put me on Febreze and I told you guys how strong it's been in my house. Well, this morning to me, it was so strong. I had to turn it down. I've never had a plug-in that was so strong, I had to turn it down. That is not a bad thing. That is an amazing thing. My house smells like so good. It smells like I got 10 washing machines going on at the same time in my house. I have the Gain fragrance. <laughs> so it makes sense to you. It's Gain scent. Just strong, irradiating everywhere in my house. Oh my God, and I only got one plug in over here and then one way over there in the kitchen and it is strong, bitch. Thank you guys so much. <sighs> anyway, let me show you a full look of my outfit. Like I said, guys, if you are new, I, new here, I think you're gonna love it here. I'm very down to earth. I'm cool, I'm chill. I'm like your neighborhood home girl. You know, just ask about me. Just ask about me. Ask some of my best, my, ask some of my besties that's been here since day one. Okay, this is the fit. This is the, ooh. Okay, buddy, gym been paying off. Starvation been paying off. Let me stop playing, I ain't been starving myself. I just been eating healthy. So yeah, this is the look, real chill, athleisure. I love this Zara jacket, it is so freaking cute. It has like balloon sleeves, they're pushed up though. It's cute. Guess what y'all? I just received a phone call that my car should be ready next week. I am so excited. Y'all don't know. Well, y'all do know. People get rental cars all the time. Paying for a car that is not yours sucks. Oh my God. My estimated payment for this car, for the time that I'm going to have it, is $1,400. $1,400. I drive a Range Rover and I don't even pay that a month for my Range Rover. <sighs> anyway, um, yeah, so the guy called me today. It's already, my car has already been in the shop for a week because it's the holidays. They're like backed up on doing, I guess it's inspections. Like I had to drop the car off at the, um, at the repair shop, then my insurance company had to send an inspector out to inspect the damages. Why couldn't they just come to my house? Because in the past, when I've had fender benders and stuff, they would come to me. Anyways, it had to be already sitting at the uh, shop. Stupid. So it's already been in the shop for a week now, and they just approved it today. Um, and the estimated finishing is the 31st. And they said that's just contingent on parts, on work, people taking off holiday time. They said it could be ready a day or two sooner or it could take a day or two longer. So that's where we're at. So I'm just glad that the ball is rolling. Things are, things are progressing. So that is very exciting for me. Y'all, I smell so good. This perfume smells so 
good. I'm about to Google and see how much this stuff costs. I've never heard of that um, brand. If it's at Sephora, I might as well pick it up while I'm at the uh, mall. Oh, it's on Amazon? Hold on. It's on, oh, shit balls. It's expensive. I've never heard of this brand. Why is it $100? So the on Amazon, the 1.7 is 100 and the 3.3 .3 is 135. So it really makes more sense to get the 3.3. .3. Jeez, is it on Sephora? At least I can get points. Okay, so the Juliet has a gun wardrobe discovery set, which looks like six sample vials. That's $50. And then on Sephora, it's the same price as Amazon. So $100 for the 1.7 and $135 for the 3.3. .3. Yikes on a bike. I'm in the bathroom at the um, juice bar place. They don't have a hook anywhere to hang a purse. Like, why? So I had to improvise, put it on top of this. Sometimes when restrooms don't have a hook, I will hang it on top of this thing right here. This purse is white. I ain't trying to get it dirty. Okay, we about to try nectar for the first time. Something weird happened. So when I picked up my order, and I'm assuming it was from the guy who was in front of me, the cashier was like, oh, this is for you. It was a phone number and email with the guy's name on there. Did I take it? No. Cause sir, you were watching me. You were looking at me. You kept turning around and looking at me. Why didn't you say something? Why didn't you say something? But you wrote your name and number and email on a the back of a receipt and left and had the little 18 year old worker do the job for you. I need a man with initiative who takes charge. So the worst thing a woman could say is no, no. That takes nothing out of your bank account. It adds nothing to your bank account. It doesn't deplete your health. It doesn't make anything happen to you it's just a no you never knew me i never knew you your day keeps going on anyway so i got a shot i got a this is an elderberry shot they also had a turmeric shot and a ginger shot the turmeric shot shot is for inflammation the ginger shot was for energy i believe and I did not ask about the elderberry. <laughs> I just hear elderberry is very popular. So that's why I got it. I should have asked. Sorry, but that's why I'm taking an elderberry shot. Oh. It stinks. Ew. Why does it smell like straight up ginger? What is elderberry supposed to... Oh, I'm scared to take this. Mm. It's burning! It's burning! Ugh. Oh God. Ah. My ear is burning. Oh. What the fuck? Um, never the fuck again. Jesus. Good Lord, I hope this smoothie is take. Oh my God, that scares me for the smoothie. The smoothie I got is called the, um, Lord, did I get some on my leggings? Some damn stanky elderberry. And not in my, between my legs. Ooh. I'm having a brain fire. That, that just threw me all the way off. This was called the Popeye Acai Smoothie. It had like acai, homemade coconut milk, I think it said, or homemade almond milk, um, spinach, and I said, can I have double spinach? 
I don't see any green in here, but that's what I asked for. I have some fruits. I don't know. Oh, it's spinachy. Yeah, they put a lot of spinach in here. It's good. This is good. Mm, okay. Mental note. Come back to Nectar for the smoothies and not the shots. And I don't know if this is just a Houston thing or if Nectar juice bars are everywhere. But anyway, just price-wise, this shot was $3. This is the large smoothie. This was $10. And the regular size is $8 or $7.50, something like that. So not a big difference. They also have acai bowls and fresh pressed juices. Wow, Rihanna's gonna have a store in our mall. That's pretty cool. The narco, narco, got dope like Pablo. Pablo, cut dope like Pablo. Cut dope, chop trees with the Draco. Draco, on the north got Diego. Diego, say I still a wiggle. The wiggle. We'll be in rapping Kilo. Yeah. Snub nose with potato. Take, take out. No monkey in the jungle, fly high like a sauna. Bouncing off a number, trying to weave an anaconda. Jumping in the water, trying to sleep across the border. Y'all, this is my essay, Louisa. So if y'all ever shop in the Houston Galleria, make sure you ask for her. She always takes care of me. She'll show you all the new stuff, and she's so sweet. And she actually responds to her text messages. Thank yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. She got me ready for Christmas, y'all. <laughs> Just leaving out the mall lord lord i was sweating one thing about the galleria as bougie it ain't bougie it's just a regular mall that has all the luxury stores but as expensive as that mall is you would think they would have the ac at least on 70. every time i go in there i sweat why am i sweating at a mall that I'm spending money at why and it's every single time matters not if it's summertime or wintertime it's so annoying but anyway I got the um items that I needed to get um I saw some things that I wanted for myself girl it's this wallet that I think I'm gonna go back for and the price is so good just think of a card case but bigger like so it's flat like a card case can i go through oh, please and thank you um it's flat like a card case but you put cash in the zippered part and the entire back has a bunch of slots for uh all your cards like it probably holds like maybe 14 cards 12 14 cards and then on the front of it it has like another little pouch. You know, I just think you're going to have it forever. And then Louis Vuitton is classic. You can resell it when you're done with it. Let's say you've had it for five years. It's a $500 wallet. You'll definitely be able to resell that wallet for $300. Or more. So, that's why, that's why I don't really buy like pieces like this. And y'all, I got so many compliments on this. But pieces like this don't really resell that well. That's why I don't really buy stuff like that that's why i bought this on sale i wouldn't buy this full price but like louis vuitton resells really really good because it's so classic some pieces of gucci but gucci is like tripping now with all this colorful weird shit mickey mouse rainbow shit oh my goodness um then don't get me started on that balenciaga collab that is so freaking ugly yeah but louis vuitton is like classic top tier um, just think Louis Vuitton. Let's 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 put it out there. What other luxury brand can you not find anywhere? Anywhere except for that brand's store. Name one, not Chanel, because you can buy Chanel perfume and Chanel makeup off of Sephora out of a regular department store. Not Fendi. Fendi, I can go on Saks and I can buy me some Fendi. Where can you buy Louis Vuitton at? You can only buy Louis Vuitton from a Louis Vuitton store. I ain't talking about resellers and all that. That don't count. But brand new Louis Vuitton, you can 
only find it at Louis Vuitton. That's why Louis Vuitton is the most exclusive brand there is. People think Chanel is the most exclusive. No, Chanel is the most expensive. Louis Vuitton is the most exclusive because you can only find Louis Vuitton in a Louis Vuitton store. Yep. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. Tom Ford, you can buy Tom Ford off of Nordstrom, off of Saks Fifth, out of Saks Fifth Avenue. Louis Vuitton, you gotta actually walk in one of their stores. Anyway, um, I, oh my God, it's 6.15 and I haven't eaten. <gasps> OMG, all I had was that smoothie. What do I have at home to make? I, I don't have anything thought out. I can make a salad, but why would I want my only meal of the day to be cold? I need something hot and like substantial and that's gonna like make me feel good when I eat it. Hmm, I think Sweet Green is right there. Do I wanna go to Sweet Green? But I think it's right there. I'm about to make, bust me a little turn and see. So I'm about to have me some company. The sissy is going to come meet me. She works and lives ooh, literally right by here. So she was like, I'll be there in five minutes. I'm like, hey, come on. Let's do a little healthy dinner together. And knowing her too, she's probably just on the same energy as me. I bet she hasn't eaten anything today. We be doing that dumb shit. Just not even on purpose. It just be happening. I low-key got a shit. I got a P.I.P. Poop in public. I'm gonna see if I can do drop flush, drop flush real quick before anybody noticed I've been in there for a long time. When I tell y'all, my stomach feels so much better. Um, when I burp, I still taste that shot. Oh my God. Disgusting. Oh, they sell liquor here? Oh no, beer and wine. Hmm, you want me a little rosé? The sister's here. Y'all, and we're eating dessert before our food even gets here. We're hungry. And one of her friends was in here and he gave us a bottle of wine. Yeah. And my sister took it to the head. <laughs> Angels and Cowboys, y'all heard of that? It's pretty good, thank you, Kosi. What's your name again? Kosi. Kosi. Yeah. Oh, thank she you. She never remembers me. I, she did the last time. No, I remember your face. I'm horrible with so names. you spoke names. to her first when she came in or something? No, uh, I have seen it. So this is Texas caviar. This is their guac, turkey chili, and this is pita bread. And we have more food on the way. <laughs> this is just our appetizer. Yes, y'all, we just try everything. This is a seared salmon burger. They came with chips. We didn't know I was getting, if I had known I was getting so many chips, I would have got fruit instead. Right. She got a burger and these fries are delectable. This is amazing. That is amazing. Chili is, it's not bad, it's average. Let me say that. And I'll be trying this next. So we're currently in Burlington. I have a return actually. But y'all, they have beauty fridges. I don't need one, but. For you girls who are all about the skincare, and it's $35. Then they have this one, $35. Is this one $35 also? Yup, $35. Wow. I remember when Burlington was called Burlington Coat Factory. Now they're just called Burlington. I guess because, I mean, in Houston, when it was Burlington Coat Factory, it was no point in us to go in because we only wear coats uh, one month out the year, if that. So now they sell a little bit of coats and then a bunch of clothing and home stuff. But if y'all don't, if y'all haven't been to Burlington in a long time, it kind of reminds you of like a Ross, Marshalls kind of, so, kind of, sorta. I ordered a lot of stuff from Fashion Nova. I think I told y'all a few vlogs ago, they had a really big sale. Well, I mean, not that they had a sale, their sales section had good stuff in it. This got prices. Oh yeah, this got prices. Okay. 
I'm gonna show y'all the stuff. I'm not trying it on. Y'all know I always say that. And then what I wind up doing? Trying it on. Okay, so this is a jumpsuit. Lord. How the hell? This part crisscrosses on the boobs. Some sort of way. Then the pants are like a wide leg. A wide leg pant. All the comments of the pants were real long, so I'm assuming they're going to be long on me. I got this in a size large, and this was this was $11.98. That's cheap. That's real cheap. Oh, uh, these were just some, uh, yeah, these are some wide leg pants. I don't know why I got these. I think because of the length, honestly, because they are way on the ground. They're like some gaucho pants. So this would just be cute for like the springtime with like a little bandeau top. You know, nothing serious. These were $9.98. Child, let me go ahead and try this stuff on. I don't feel like it. But I need to try it on because I just need to. Oh, God. Okay, so this is that plus size one that's a size 1X. And I said, I wish it was a size like large or extra large. I don't like how loose, it, like this is extremely loose. Like it might look cute, but it doesn't feel comfortable because of how loose it is. The pants do hit the ground. Of course, wouldn't wear a bra with this. It would just show the cle cle the cleavage. I mean, it's cute though. They just ain't have my size. Okay, so these are the pants. They are very, very wide leg. I don't know how I feel about these. They were $9.98 on sale. I got a size medium. They're cute, but they're not really my style. I don't know, guys. They look like some around the house pants, if you ask me. This is just, it makes me look, my legs are tree trunks. It literally makes my legs look like tree stumps. Oh my God, I love these so much. This is the size 13. The other ones that I had a couple vlogs ago were 15. <gasps> They fit so good. Y'all, I love these. I love these jeans. I love them so much. These are called Longing For You Distressed Wide Leg Jeans. They have so much stretch in them. Whatever your normal size is, go down a size. So the size 15s will be on my Poshmark, FYI. Okay, I love these. You probably can't even see the full thing but they have like a split at the ankle and then you like tie them excuse my toes my toes look disgusting okay we ain't looking at that these are just some high rise leather pants they come really long when people in the review section say oh they're too long they're long they're long they're way too long that's a go for me i'm five nine so anything when people say are too long for my tall ass is perfect <laughs> So I knew that these were going to be the perfect length on me, and they are. So these are really cute. I got these in a size extra large, and they are called the Tie Me Down Faux Leather Pants. This is a vacation outfit. This is very Miami vacation, beachy. I would not wear this on a summer day in Houston. This is a net. But I love how long the pants are. Once again, everybody in the comment section was talking about the pants are too long. They're too long. And as you see, they are perfect for your girl. So this is a one piece jumpsuit. This is called the Keep It Tropical Jumpsuit. I got a size extra large. Let me see the price. So this was $11.98. Always check Retail Me Not for additional um, money off. There was a 10% off code that was not on their website. It was on Retail Me Not and I put it in. I got an additional 10% off. Okay, this is the next one. It's cute. Um, definitely need some double-sided garment tape, but I think this is another like beachy outfit, vacation outfit. I just can't see myself wearing this. Just a regular night out in Houston. I mean, maybe, but I don't know. This is like night out, dinner, then going out, 
while you're in Hawaii, while you're in Cancun, Miami, you know. Anyways, this was $11.98. It's a jumpsuit, so one piece. I got a size large. Let me see the name of this. This is the Keeping It Fierce jumpsuit. Okay, so this is the last clothing item. There are some really long wide leg sweatpants with this, what is this called? Like a bra top? I don't know. With a little bra cropped tank top thing. And then this like half sweatshirt thing over top of it. <laughs> so it fits cute. I just, where would I wear this to? Like, I, it sweats, but it's like sexy sweats. So. I don't know. My homegirl said wear it to, it's like a brunch outfit, but it's like so casual. I, I don't know. I don't know where to put this in the casual or the like going out section. Like what, where? I don't know. This is called the Get Over It three piece set. I have it in a size extra large and it was $35. So if you're a tall girl like me, this is this is very tall girl from Fashion Nova caters really to tall and curvy girls. So I it's very rare when I find something that's too short for me. All right, last item are these booties right here. Look how cute these are, y'all. And they have a nice short heel. That heel is like cute. These are the Did You Know booties, and they were on sale for $15.98. Yes, $15 for some booties. Hopefully they're comfortable. Okay, so I think I'm actually gonna do a return. I never do returns to Fashion Nova, but I bought a pair of um, clear heels that I don't, I'm not a fan of. They're the Moina, Mo, Amina Mawadi dupes. I'm not a fan of those. Um, and then this, this might go back, I'm not really sure. Anyways, y'all, I'm about to go ahead and end the vlog here. I need to clean up my bed. I was going to try and wrap a few gifts tonight. I don't know if that's going to happen. Though. I don't know. Christmas Eve, I might just be up all night wrapping gifts. <laughs> so we are two days away from Christmas. Um, tomorrow is Thursday. Then we got Friday and then Christmas is Saturday. So we are down to the wire. Vlogmas is almost over. But I think I'm going to try to vlog and um, put videos out more once Vlogmas is over. I'm not going to do every day. I'm not going to do five days a week. I'm going to try to stick to probably three to four days a week. It'll probably be easier for me to do three days a week. We'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll discuss it when the time comes. But all right. Love you guys. Hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Catch you guys tomorrow. What's up, y'all? Welcome to another day of vlogging. Um, yeah, I didn't vlog at all today. I vlogged a little bit yesterday, um, a little bit right now, and that's really it. But today, right now, it's Thursday. It's the 23rd. Um, I have a video uploading. Uh, it's a video, a sit-down chit-chat video with this hair. It's not a chit-chat. It's a hotels. Y'all like my hotel. So that should be out before this video, hopefully. Fingers crossed. We'll see. But um, I haven't eaten today, y'all. And it's late. Let me not say I haven't eaten. I didn't eat dinner. Last thing I had was half a sausage sandwich. And that was around 4 or 4.30. So I am starving. I'm so hungry. So I'm about to just make myself like a big old salad. But I need to re-glue my nail on because it's literally like lifting. What do you guys think about this hair? It's from Unice color is very unique it's like a golden like a honey blonde at the roots and then when you go down it's like a what is this like a reddish blonde or a reddish brownish i don't know it's different i like it though but yep you nice hair mm -hmm. then i'm just wearing this fashion nova um two-piece pajama set a subscriber sent that to me yeah Anyway, let me glue my nail on real quick.
Okay, so this is my salad. It's spinach, it's lunch meat, which is just some rotisserie chicken, some red onion, we have feta cheese, some banana peppers cut up, salad topper, and then a couple of, not a couple, but a good amount of french fried onions. And then either this salad dressing, which is, you should already know, Chipotle salad dressing, or this is, I ate at a restaurant the other day, this is some leftover honey mustard dressing. So I'm gonna eat one of these or I might mix some, I'm not really sure yet. And then we got some uh, zero sugar Minute Maid. This is the fruit punch and the mango mixed together. So this is my late, late, late dinner, y'all. When I tell you that salad hit so good, and I did, I mixed the two. I mixed the two. I didn't, it wasn't enough of the um, salad dressing from Chipotle. Wasn't enough of that. And then I didn't want to eat a lot of this because, you know, creamy salad dressing is not good for you. Creamy salad dressing is like the worst salad dressing. You want to eat, keep your salad as healthy as possible, do a vinaigrette. Okay? So I mixed the two and it was, mm, 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 mm. Now it's almost midnight and I'm about to wash dishes. Who washes dishes at midnight? Your girl. I'm about to wash dishes and I'm going to wrap gifts. I'm like, why am I up? Like, I'm like energized. I did take a nap this afternoon though. I took a nap for like an hour and a half. So that could be why. Do I have any spinach in my teeth? Ooh, what's that? Ah! Spinach! I need to rinse my mouth out because with these type of veneers that I have, you're supposed to, and whenever you drink anything dark or eat anything dark, you're supposed to rinse your mouth out so they don't get stained. So I'll be back. It is officially Christmas Eve. When I, the other clip, it wasn't even 12 o'clock yet. It was about 11.50, but it's officially Christmas Eve. So Merry Christmas Eve, you guys. But um, yeah, it's about 12.30. I got laundry going and I have the dishes. I just washed dishes. Girl, I'm about to start wrapping gifts. Pray for me. And look at this pile of Poshmark stuff just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. It's a damn shame. But next week, I'm, I'm dedicating one full day to Poshmark. My Poshmark link is always down below. Just letting you guys know. I do randomly add stuff uh, to it here and there, but like my big, when I do like a huge um, drop, like 75, 80, 100 items, I always let you guys know in advance and I always post it on my Instagram. So you should be following me on Instagram. My Instagram is Gina Janine. So yeah, let me get to wrapping gifts. I'm probably gonna dedicate Maybe an hour, an hour. Cause I'm actually getting a little bit tired now. Now that I ate, I'm getting that itis. I am literally, literally remembering how horrible I wrap gifts. This is why I wish I had somebody to come help me. This is why I wish I could just put gifts inside of gift bags. But kids didn't want to be able to rip open something. It's the thrill of ripping it open. Not pulling it out of a gift bag. So, gotta do what you gotta do, mommies. Um, but my oldest son, the adults, I'm not wrapping adult stuff. Adults get their stuff in gift bags. And honestly, y'all see how I'm doing this? This is three, I, y'all, I can't even see. All in between my legs, hold on. This is one, two, three items going in one wrap. One wrap, that's it. I'm not wrapping individual stuff, so... I want to say this one has like four things in it. Y'all look how ugly I wrap these gifts. Don't, don't laugh at me. But yeah, so we're, we're going to get this done quickly because we're stockpiling stuff together. <sighs> Does anybody else do this? Is this how anybody else wraps gifts? Y'all don't do individual, like clothing. It's going to be like five articles of clothing in one thing. Who got time to wrap five different shirts separately? Not I. Latinas. Say that again, baby. Tomorrow's Christmas for Latinas. Um, I'm Hispanic, so Latinas. Yes, tomorrow's Christmas. I'm eating ice out of my blanket because it gives the ice texture. Please stop being weird. Oh my god. No, it gives the ice like furry texture, and it feels like a rock. 
um, because it's fur. This particles are going in your mouth. That's why. Oh my god. Anyway, y'all see who always ends up in bed with me. So I'm about to um, end this vlog out. I am about to do a giveaway. I have two boxes over there. Oh, they're on that black bench right there. That's two boxes. You probably can't tell. But it's two boxes full of goodies. And they? With perfumes, lotion, candles, all kind of stuff. Lashes, all kind of stuff. So, there will be two winners. Now, listen very carefully because y'all don't seem to listen. When you answer the question, answer the question along with your contact info. Whether that's going to be your email or your Instagram account. So I can message you either through your email or your Instagram DM. Okay? So no one knows your address. Exactly. So no one will know your address. So the first question is, they're going to be two separate questions. Ooh. And these are questions just to make sure that you guys, you know, that y'all are loyal watchers. You guys actually pay attention to the videos and... Yeah, you have to pay attention to videos and, and really know your thick best friend to win, okay? And y'all better not go back and rewatch the videos to get the correct answer. They can rewatch, but it's gonna be it would be too hard for them to rewatch. Okay, so the first question is what article of clothing do I never, ever, ever wear out the house? It is a particular article of clothing. Be quiet. I don't even know. I, I <laughs> but I talk about it on the videos. Where I don't know. There's a particular article of clothing that I do not wear out the house. Okay? So that's the first one. So answer that question and put your and there's not there's if there's if the same if the same person knows all the, the both answers, you're only getting one gift. There's a, you're only getting one gift. It's only going one gift to each person. Okay? So the second question. What should the second question be? Um, okay, I got this one. So, the next question, where where was mom born and when was, like, what year was she born? Oh, God. Where and what year? Guys, this should be easy for y'all. I'm sure if y'all know her age, do the math. Okay. Ashton said it. Where was I born? In what year? But no month or anything. You can say the city or state, either one. Yeah, city or state, right? And the year I was born. Answer that along with your contact information, okay? And I will be mailing out these gifts. These are like Christmas gifts for you guys. And if you don't You'll win, get them after Christmas, of course, but, but you know. But if you don't win, there's still more chances. And it's going to be the very first person who answers correctly and follows the rules. The very first person, okay? All right, good luck. Love you guys. And we're about to go to sleep. Oh, yeah. I'm about to go to sleep. Oh, well, I'm about to watch probably some YouTube videos yeah. and then go to sleep. And good night. Good night. <laughs> and the vlog ended. <laughs> I am. <laughs>